All right, well, that was the introduction. Let's get right into the meat and bone and start building this thing. So I've created just four empty folders um, since the last time we uh, met or spoke or had coffee and a cup of tea. Four empty folders, uh, just one called script. We're gonna put all our scripts in there. One called scene, we'll save the scene. Mats for materials and fabs for the prefab that we're gonna create. Um, real quick, why don't I go ahead and do that? I'll hit save as, I'll select scene, and we'll just call this demo. All right, it's gonna be our little demo scene, so you can see that in there, there's a demo now. And then in mats, why not, we'll just right click get some of the housekeeping stuff take care of real quick so right click go to create look for material and this one you know player why not i like to lower the softness down so it gives it like a nice little flappy bird kind of sense i think on the demo i had my guy like a purple color It'll be consistent i guess and i'll create another one um, another one for his, uh, his spout, I guess you would call it. <laughs> I'll make this one, like, black, and uh, I'll just name it, uh, out. And then finally, a uh, third item here would probably just be the platform. Let's call it plat. And softness down again. Nice little red. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's make some game objects. I need a cube. Wow, far out. Get it? Because it's far away from the view. Let's bring it in. Zero here, zero there. Actually, I think. Uh, Two here, and then a uh, negative three. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. How about negative two? Negative four. Ooh, close. Not right. Negative four. That's perfect. So about two, four. And I think the camera is at the default. Just, I, I think I put this. This should be one. Right. I put it at zero. There we go. The cube is here. Uh, we'll make another cube inside the cube. Let's go to the scene so we can actually see what we're doing. Um, cube uh, inside of cube. There we go. Just lower it down a little bit. And let's rescale this. So squish it this way. And then we squish it this way. And then we just squish it down a little bit. And we'll just bring the entire thing down a little bit. All right, let's go to mats and just drop these colors on there. This was a spout, boop, and this was the player, boop. Now, how do we look? Nice. Let's name this, um, player. Hopefully, I'm not going a little bit too fast, but it's just design and part of it, I think. Um, this doesn't matter too much. All right, so uh, let's name this spout. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and just create the platform as well, since we're already here. So cube. Oop, I don't want it to be a child of anything. Just out here, cube. Right. Um, let's give it the same position right now. Zero, and then uh, negative four. So it's like right below it. And you can go over here and kind of like see that. That's what's going on right below it. Um, squish it out. Cube. That. Let's just go to the position. Should I like that? Pull this out. Squish it out. Yeah. I don't think I can't even see it. Um, bring it. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. I'm looking at it this way. Okay. So, bring that in. And then squish this like that. Alright, and then we'll just bring it down. Bring it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. there. And 
just looking mighty fine. Perfect. Oh, let's give it its color. Red, blue. Look at that. That looks great. That looks amazing. Alright. <clears throat> we'll rename this Plat. For Platform. And so inside of our prefab, so in scene we have our demo, in mats we have all our materials, and in uh, fabs we're gonna put our prefab, which we'll need the platform to go in there. So the platform turned blue, it became a prefab. For now, I will leave it there. We are going to delete it soon, but to just make sure we get all the right placements done, well, you know what? We could delete it right now. We could delete it right now. I don't think we'll need it again. Um, I think that's... Well, no. No, we... We should probably keep it. Let's send it back. Far out and just see. I think right about there. So 40. Is a great place to be spawning them so we'll just keep it there as a marker of where um, it's gonna spawn all right so I think we're all set up for the next video which we're gonna dive right into the scripts folders and start making some scripts um, hmm. yeah I think this yeah this, this works perfect Alright guys, we're going to do the player movements and uh, I think we're going to also create the platform movement as well. Yes, we'll do the player movement and the platform movement, movement in the next video. Appreciate you guys for watching this one. Stay tuned if you're still interested. Coming at you, Coda Noob. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Hey, you should become a part of this positive and educational channel by hitting that subscribe button. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day.